is adopted. And a resolution recognizing and honoring Hishumu Yahomogi for a lifetime of service as a print and broadcast journalist, professor, and political consultant introduced by Councilwoman Bass. She recognizes Councilwoman Bass. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to be, make some remarks before uh, we call for a vote. Um, and by now, we all know that we lost a great warrior, a fighter for the people, a consummate professional, and our friend, Hishimu Jeremoji. I think we were all shocked to hear of his passing and undeniable loss to our city. We in this body often refer to members of the press as the 18th member of councils, council. And yet he was truly the 18th member. For more than 40 years, Hashimu informed, entertained, and engaged us through newspaper articles he wrote for the Philadelphia Tribune, the Philadelphia Daily News, the Philadelphia Inquirer, and the Neighborhood Leader, a newspaper he owned and operated. We will miss his voice on WDAS, WHYY, WPEN, and the many other radio stations where he delivered news and interviewed guests on talk shows. Hundreds of aspiring journalists of color considered him their mentor and knew that they could count on him for advice and counsel. The Philadelphia Association of Black Journalists, which he served as past president, awarded him with their highest honor, the organization's Lifetime Achievement Award. He wore so many hats in the communications industry, including professor, pr professor and lecturer, media consultant, and advisor to the political campaigns of many. And speaking of hats, he wore them well. I remember him as a fashion plate with a wardrobe full of colorful clothing that reflected his deep connection to his African roots and culture. Hashimu was serious about his work, which was caring and looking out for the best interests of his people, and that was all people. He didn't suffer fools lightly. Knowing the challenges our neighborhoods face, he knew the critical urgency at hand. He didn't have time for foolishness. You better come at him and have yourself together, or he would get you together. He was firm and gentle and supportive all at the same time. I'm really going to miss him. And I can only say, if you never had an opportunity to meet, to meet him, I can only tell you that you really missed out. My condolences to his daughter, Aisha, his son, Anwar, his partner, Tremaine, and to the countless other loving relatives and friends who mourn his passing. And so, <coughs> and so we all say farewell to our friend, Shimu Jirampuchi. Mr. President. Mr. President, I'd like to request a standing silent vote. Thank you. Please stand.